YouTube friends, thanks for joining me. I'm making some slow cooker white rice. Just a general recipe. I um, like to cook this to have rice in supply. Uh, if you're going to make a beef dish, you might want to add beef bouillon cubes. If you're making a chicken dish, you might want to add chicken bouillon cubes. Depending on what you're making will determine the flavors you want to add. I've already sp sprayed the slow cooker with butter spray and um, I'm going to add butter also. I use a 2 to 1 ratio, 2 cups of water to 1 cup of rice and uh, it usually works pretty well. I start out on high and lower the um, uh, I'm not, lower the heat depending on your slow cooker. My small slow cooker cooks faster than my large slow cooker. So you've got to watch it. Generally, um, I, I note between um, two and three hours. So sometimes depending on the amount of rice, it's one and a half hours. It can be um, up to three and a half hours. So depending on your rice and your slow cooker, you need to get accustomed to the settings you need to use. I like to start fast and finish slow. That way you get a really nice, fluffy, tasty result. I'll let you know my progress. I've got the rice, water, butter, and seasonings in the crock pot on high. I'll keep you posted about my progress. See you back soon. The rice has been cooking for an hour. I just stirred it. It's looking pretty good. I like the progress. I'll keep it on high a bit longer. Let's see how we're doing. It's now an hour and a half and it's looking pretty good. I've just stirred it. It's not quite fluffy yet. It's still quite moist. So I'm going to turn it down to low for another half an hour. This is three cups of rice and six cups of water with seasoning. Let's see how another half an hour on low goes. Let's see how we're doing. It's another half an hour later. I just stirred it. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to turn the heat off now and let the remaining liquid absorb into the rice with just the heat that's left in the slow cooker. See you back soon. got a pretty good result. It's been another half an hour just cooking with the heat. It is perfect. And if you ever have problems scorching your rice when you cook it, this is a great alternative. It will never scorch. Um, and if you use a regular method cooking on the stove top, if you turn the rice off for the last five minutes of cooking, then again that's another way to avoid scorching your rice. I hope this information was helpful. Thanks for watching.